much. It doesn't have that tournament vibe. <laughs> Ready to head out? <laughs> it's time to get the next mastery mark. <laughs> Mr. Giovanni? Again? What's he up to this time? Ah, the trailblazers! We cross paths again! It's wonderful to have both of you here. Your gaming skills have certainly improved quite a bit, judging by your... presence. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. While you're here, mind if we ask you a few questions? Why, of course not! If it's a topic I'm familiar with, I'll do my best to answer. Uh, hey! How about you ask him instead? About that thing we couldn't figure out earlier? Remember? Uh, no, no, not that! Uh, Mr. Giovanni, have you been deliberately guiding us towards a certain goal? You keep asking the champions of each venue to give us cryptic hints, don't you? What's that all about? <laughs> oh! <laughs> so that's what you were wondering about. Let me assure you both, I harbor no malicious intentions towards either of you. In my capacity as the sole sponsor of the event, and a devoted player of Ethereum Wars, there's one thing I wish to ensure. I hope to witness a festival that is truly flawless, allowing every participant to truly appreciate the magic of the game. I hope you both find this to be an acceptable answer. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's... Oh, as mentioned, I promise both of you that I harbor no malicious intentions. I swear upon this mask. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll just have to trust you. For now. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. With that said, please forgive my departure. I hope to catch a glimpse of your remarkable skills in the championship. And there he goes again. I just wonder how much of what he says is true. That mask guy... He's gone now, right? Yeah, he's gone. Wait a sec, who are you? <laughs> Wait... Are you that Stellaron Hunter hacker girl? What are you doing here? <laughs> You've got me pretty figured out. Who knows? We might just have more in common than you expect. So you're not here to start trouble? You're not still after her, right? Seriously, do I really have to make a formal statement or something? <laughs> I'm here for the game, nothing more. Honestly, though, I wonder what that mask guy is up to. Ah, uh, who knows? He could be trying to lure me into the IPC's hands just so he can watch me make a fool of myself. I mean, you never know what kind of crazy stunt a masked fool might pull for the sake of having fun. So Mr. Giovanni really is a member of the Masked Fools? Ugh, no wonder.
Look, when you're dealing with someone wearing a mask, you gotta keep your wits about you. Common sense. Hmm. Sounds like you know a lot about him. Who hasn't heard about the masked tycoon of Epsilon? He's probably the flashiest masked fool in the universe. <laughs> It'd be weird if I hadn't heard of him. Anyway, he doesn't interest me in the slightest. I'm not gonna waste my precious time digging up info on him. Hello? 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 Uh-huh. Is this a broadcast? You there! Stella Run Twerp and Little Miss Pink? What's the hold up? I have some serious research I could be doing right now. Are you gonna play or not? A little Miss Pink? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Seriously? And uh, what about you? She just intentionally ignored you. Huh? <laughs> I made a few sneaky modifications to her surveillance terminal. Whenever I show up here as a hologram, she won't be able to see me on the camera feed. Cool, right? <sighs> Pretty convenient. Caprice, Lax. I haven't told you what you've got to do yet. If you want to challenge me, you'll need to find all the passes hidden by the Wubba Boots on the treasure map first. Got that? You need to locate the service robots on the space station and take corresponding treasure maps from them. Track down all three passes on the maps. Achieving this means you've completed the puzzle. <laughs> Is that it? Can't the gaming association come up with any real challenges? <laughs> Looks like I've got plenty of time. Guess I'll go grind some levels for a bit. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. She left. Just like that? <sighs> All right. Let's get moving. We should follow Herta's instructions. <laughs> See that robot over there? The one that looks like a jellyfish? That's... Probably one of the service robots Madame Herta was talking about, right? Come on, let's go talk to it and get the first treasure map. Good.
another Wubaboo! It's definitely holding on to another pass! we just saw. It seemed a little upset. I wonder what Madame Herta did to the poor thing. Uh, the next treasure map just came in by text. Let's get a move on. We need to hunt down the next pass. to it.
chat with it. That wubaboo back there seemed quite happy. It must mean we're doing something right. We've collected all three passes now. That should mean we've solved all the puzzles in the victory zone. Hello? 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 You've got all three passes. I'm sending you the coordinates. Hurry up already. Stop wasting my time. the ridiculous puzzles the Gaming Association cooked up? <laughs> Who are you calling Little Miss Pink? Oh, you, of course. It's not like Astis here. All right, all right, hurry it up. We're here for that, what's it called again? Duel, right? Or I can just give you the mastery mark. Up to you. Annoying! The IPC is too concerned with its own reputation. Fine, let's get this over with. Bring it on! I'm in a hurry. Why not call it quits? And save us all some time. Aw, seems the dev forgot to include a surrender option. Mark is yours. <laughs> what? Isn't that what you wanted? All right, let's wrap things up and get going. Next, you'll be asking for a tea party. Oh, fine. Since you're here, I'll throw in a QA. One question per person. And make it snappy. Nope. Apart from this boring festival, I have no dealings with the man. I was wondering, Madam Herta, why did you become a championship contender? To bolster the IPC's reputation, it's a win-win for me. All right, that's enough small talk. 
things to do, seriously. <laughs> Ugh, one question per person, remember? The little one doesn't count. Huh, it seems like they can sense some kind of danger. Uh, one last question, please? Ugh. Go on, then. Uh, this warp trotter, I mean, uh, ether spirit, they've been acting a little strange. Do you have any idea what the reason could be? <sighs> no. Uh, not even the Genius Society can figure it out. Why did they end up this way? Uh, oh, uh, hang on. Uh, did you remember something? Nope, but you just reminded me. Giovanni wanted me to pass on a message to you both. The elite player has already bested last year's champion and claimed this year's title. Hence, this year's event will crown two champions. That's all he had to say. Now you better get a move on. Uh, why would he say that? <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to get you two to move faster. Or he just wants to provoke you. Given his nature, this elite player might even be him. Uh, it feels like Mr. Giovanni has been stringing us along the whole time. Then you better ask him about it. It's got nothing to do with me. Uh, okay. Thanks, Madam Herta. Since we've got the mastery mark, let's head back to the Express and get some well-earned rest. Uh, is that your phone? Huh? Wilder? Didn't he mention something about Topaz's support squad and the Aether Spirit? Ah, <laughs> oh, well, we better go find him then. Back to Bellabog it is. I like this coat. Thank you both for coming! Uh, no problem. We were in the area anyway. What did you want to discuss with us? Director Topaz sent me to handle the Topaz support squad situation and the problems caused by the Aether Spirit. I've been told that the Aether Spirit is with you, so I thought it'd be good to have a chat with you about them. No, no, you've got the wrong idea. Please, just let me explain. Uh, how did you get out again? Ah, as I suspected, this is the Aether Spirit that Director Topaz spoke of. It's like this. This Aether Spirit was a museum piece held on Herta Space Station, which was later snatched by Topaz's support squad. To be precise, they actually belonged to Asta, the station's lead researcher. Initially, Director Topaz refrained from commenting on the support squad situation, but their actions undoubtedly created a predicament for the Director. As a result, she ordered the squad to disband, but also ordered them to return the stolen Aether Spirit to its owner first. And that's pretty much the whole story. I'm sure you've noticed too. This Aether Spirit is unlike the others. They have their own unique personality, a mind of their own, you could say, which makes them very distinctive. 
It's precisely due to this fact that they escaped before they could be returned to the space station. Interestingly, they somehow managed to grab an ether coin during the escape. The coin wound up in Bellabog and was found by a young boy from the underworld. This clue was then subsequently uncovered by the members of the support squad. And this is where fate brought you and the ether spirit together. <laughs> Is that really the main takeaway from all this? So, why do they have their own personality? <laughs> Actually, the personality was a mistake made by the Ethereum Wars project team. While it's true that all Ether Spirit data is uploaded by players, the project team fine tunes this data to ensure that each Ether Spirit follows player commands. However, this Warp Trotter somehow managed to bypass this process, meaning they were directly uploaded to the game server with all their personality traits still intact. Perhaps that's what drew Miss Asta to them, and why she decided to add them to her Ethercoin collection. Huh. <sighs> Give me a second to wrap my head around all of this. Let me get this straight. You're saying they're just like all other Ether Spirits? A replica of a real-life creature, and the reason for its unique personality is because of an oversight by the game's project team? Huh. In any case, Director Topaz asked me to make sure Topaz's support squad returns this Aether Spirit to her to Space Station. That's why I specifically invited the two of you here, to make this request. I'm just hoping you two are willing to hand over the Aether Coin and Aether Spirit, once we have them, we'll make sure they get to Miss Asta safe and sound. I promise, after the last slip-up, there won't be any more mishaps. You can be sure of that. I... Aw, I'm really torn. But I suppose returning them back to Asta is the right thing to do. I just can't help but feel a little attached. Even if they are only an Aether Spirit. What do you think, huh? What should we do? <laughs> oh, looks like this ether spirit has grown quite fond of you both. <sighs> How about this? You both press on. Take them along with you and go claim the championship. As for Director Topaz and Miss Asta, I'll explain the situation to them. Uh, are you sure that's all right? <laughs> Leave it to me. But remember, this is only a temporary solution. You'll have to make a decision eventually. I'm hoping this will give you enough time to have a think. Thank you so much, Mr. Wilder. We'll cherish every moment. close to bursting into tears. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, too late. The moment's gone. Uh, let's call it a day, shall we? And since we're in Bellabog, it means another night at the Goethe Hotel. Tomorrow we'll set out for the final stop, the Great Mine Victory Zone. Oh, the championship is so close, I can almost feel it! Huh. I can't shake the feeling that we missed something today. Uh, maybe I'm just overthinking. journey. We'll need all the energy we can get. <laughs> Great! Uh, let's do this! 
<laughs> Great mine, here we come. 